guys, it's Vera, and today I have a very special package to open. This is actually from one of our Dark Titans, Cranked EDH. He has been a longtime supporter of the channel, and he is a great guy. He's actually uh, gifted me some things in the past, and he said I specifically want to send you this package. So here we are opening a new piece of fan mail, and I do want to really quickly say he is quite a high roller, he has a lot of reserve lists, he is quite a collector, and um, I appreciate him so much. I have actually whipped out one of my very special playmats to open. I'm very afraid to touch things to this. It is a 1999 Spellground, one of the only uh, magic labeled ones, so it's a very special mat, and I'm trying not to uh, ruin it. <laughs> he is a very big high roller cranked is, so I especially whipped this out specifically for this video. So I know that there are some packs in here, and there's also a card in here. Just saying, cranked, I absolutely love your packaging. Um, just saying, I, I love this pink, guys. This is, this is how I always want packages sent to me, but I'm gonna open these packs in a couple of minutes, and when I open these packs, actually, he had a special request that I am going to, of course, go with, and the best pull that we pull out of this, um, or one of the very good pulls, I'm actually going to give away to a Patreon. So, Patreons, my Dark Titans, you will be getting, uh, something from this. One of you will. I will post it on, um, Patreon so you all can see what you will possibly be getting, and then I will pick a winner maybe in about a, a, a couple days, probably. All of my Patreons are automatically entered in, but thank you so much for sending these to me. And I know that there is a card here that he wanted me to have. He's been talking about sending it to me, so I'm just going to get right into opening it. I have a no clue what this is. I did open the initial box before I started filming, but I have no clue what this is. And it says pull tab, so... Wow, he, you're, you're really, you're really themed. Wow, you're really themed. You're really keeping this keeping this sealed. All right, so it, I can't see it on this side either, so I guess we're just going to have to carefully take this thing out. Oh, I accidentally ripped the pull tab. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Ooh, one of these swamps that I've wanted. I've actually wanted these so bad because the art is so pretty. It's one of the Kaladesh swamps, and I absolutely love it. All right, what is this card? Oh my gosh! So I thought it was gonna be some sort of Nico Bolas, but I thought it was gonna be a newer Nico Bolas. Holy crap, this thing is gorgeous, you guys. Look at this. Holy guacamole. Oh my god. I know where this is going. This is going straight somewhere. I gotta find someone, some kind of deck to put this baby in. Or It's at least gonna be heckin' quadruple sleeved. Thank you so much. This is freaking gorgeous oh my gosh oh my gosh look at this it actually looks pretty pretty damn mint too so thank you so much for these gifts i really appreciate it i love this land yeah i'm a i'm a fanatic for lands i'm sorry but i absolutely love this bolos thank you so so freaking much for this bolos oh my gosh it's beautiful guys stay tuned i'm definitely gonna take a million pictures of this and post them on twitter tonight <laughs> But let's, let's get, um, let's put this away and let's get straight into the packs. So let's, I have, um, actually I do think I know some of these packs. This is going to take me a second to open because he had actually, I had asked him on Twitter when he was at uh, GP New Jersey, I believe it was. It wasn't that long ago. So I'm going to open this up really quickly. Give me two seconds. There we go. I couldn't specifically get it open. So let's look at the packs. I, I love this, by the way. So we've got some Return to Ravnica to open. We've got a 2015 pack in alternate language. That's pretty cool. And two also alternate languages of Journey to Nyx. So we're going to open all of these cards. I'm really, really sorry if I can't right off the bat tell you the exact names of the cards. I'm a little bit less familiar around Journey into Nyx because it wasn't a time that I was specifically collecting, but I know like a lot of the main cards, but I will let you guys know on Patreon the main cards and the main card that is going to be given away, but let's get straight into it. I'm going to save the return to Ravnica last because Ravnica is new. 2015, I have some really, really great memories with this set. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so nice to open another pack of this. I have like one loose pack and it's so nice to open. We're just going to appreciate this art, you guys. Wow, this is so nice to open. Oh my gosh, the card quality is amazing. When is the card quality like this gonna come back? Oh, the vibes of the, these sets are so, 
so good. They look so nice. They look so clean. And they all feel really themed. Alright, so right into the uncommons. I can't tell you all of the names of these cards. I'm really, really heckin' sorry. I'm heckin' sorry, guys. Okay, so it's... I don't know that card. I'm sorry. I'll have to look them up afterwards, but you guys can look at nice things. Ooh, a foil. Even though it's a common, that's nice. Oh, damn. Look at this forest. I don't know alternate languages, but I definitely know what a what a nice forest looks like, you guys. Ooh, look at that foil. Ooh, very nice. Only common, but it's still pretty nice. So now we're going to get into the journey into Nyx. Luckily, I know packs from the, the pack art. I luckily can tell you that much. What's a Johnny doing back there? Planeswalker points. Psh, who even needs Planeswalker points? Who even needs Planeswalker points, you guys? More Johnny crucifix you know there's luckily the names are a little bit more giving in this um compared to what they were a couple seconds ago i wonder what we're gonna pull Ooh, ooh. even if it's alternate language i don't care Ooh, that's nice all right let's see let's see let's see Ooh, not bad not bad um not not bad i guess um it's a human soldier it's not, it's not bad. It's not bad. We haven't hit any real big hitters yet. Um, so it could be, it could be worse. Oh my gosh. <laughs> when inserts actually looks cool. I want a t-shirt like that. You guys, I want a Planeswalker t-shirt. Don't you guys? Oh, and the, this is when card quality started getting different. Right around Journey into Next. Um, the card quality feels a lot different. It feels glossier. It feels just different in general. This is really one card quality. It took a change, um, you know, a little bit for the worse because these cards are, the backs are super glossy. They, they feel glossier. They, they feel fake in a way. Are these fake? Crank, cranked? You sending me fake cards, man. Make an embarrassment out of me because I can't read the cards and they're fake. Uh-huh. Ooh, an Eidolon. Okay, so Eidolon of the Blossoms, not a, not a bad card. Not a, not a, ooh, a nice, another nice forest. Eidolon of the Blossoms, not a bad card. <laughs> yeah, guys, I know Eidolon of the Blossoms art, okay? Plus, it kind of says Eidolon, but I would have been able to tell that one anyway. Not bad. Not a, not a bad pull. So let's get right into the two Return to Ravnica. I really like Return to Ravnica. We're back to Ravnica for a third time. So I feel like this was really, really themed on Crank's part. I feel like this was pretty themed because we're right back into, um, we're right back into it. Turn to Ravnica was good. Ooh, Guildgate. Now we have Guildgates in the land slot. Vassal Soul, not bad. Ruining. Why are there so many birds in every Ravnica set? There's so many birds all of the hecking time. I've been having a heck of a time with birds on with on Arena, real life, playing. Not like birds are actually flying and swooping at my head and trying to kill me, but in real physical magic. I think you guys get what I mean. Key rune. Also, the card quality of Return to Ravnica feels decently well. A lot better than Nyx. Um, ooh, and a Grove of the Guardian. Not bad. This thing's worth a couple bucks now. I actually needed one of these and I couldn't find, um, I needed two of them. I don't even remember for what at this point. But I finally found one, I guess. I was considering building a Selesnya deck and I don't know, I feel like every time I attempt to build a Selesnya deck, it always goes fatally wrong and I end up not finding the cards I need or I end up just procrastinating and finding is it cards but that's not a bad pull and um return to Ravnica I'm actually not sure if Grove no I think Eidolon is worth more than Grove so we'll definitely have to check I will let you guys know um I'll also let you guys know in the comments below Ooh, inspiration one of the most one of the prettiest arts one of the prettiest arts oh oh these is guild gates look so nice. Oh, I just I love it. I love the theme. I love the I love the everything. Okay, you guys. Rage Course Fury, a guild mage, a tablet. Of the tablet looks gorgeous, and a detention sphere. So that is actually the best pull out of all of the packs, you guys. So one of you lovely dark titans is going to be getting a detention sphere. I'm keeping my bolos, and I'm definitely not giving that up for a detention sphere. So. One of you lovely dark titans. Ooh, a foil. Ooh, Codex Shredder. Nice. Thank you so, so much. So, so much, Cranked, for the gifts for the Nico Bolas. It's absolutely hecking gorgeous. And thank you so much for the packs. I will get in contact with you Patreons, so make sure to check Patreon later on or tomorrow or whatever you feel like it or but thank you so much you guys for watching i super appreciate the fan mail if you guys want to send me any of your own just um just hit me up you know message me on twitter discord wherever and i will give you the address that you can send to 
thank you so much yet again, Cranked. I love the Bolas. I will definitely send you pictures of him when I get him to good use. And I'll talk to you guys again really soon.